a post back student at Charles Drew. Great. And tell me about your experience here, Tiffany. Uh, it's been actually a really great experience. I've had a lot of um, positive one-on-one -on -one interaction with mentors and teachers, and I don't think I could have gotten that anywhere else, to be honest. Wonderful. And what do you plan on pursuing as a professional career in the future? I've, eventually, I want to become a doctor. So right now, I'm pursuing medicine and pre-med. Do you have a general study that you would like? Uh, I'm thinking psychiatry, but I could also be persuaded more toward endocrinology, since that's the research I'm in, mostly involved in. And are you a Los Angeles native? No, I'm actually from Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> and what is, what is your main driving force for pursuing your career goals? Um, having the opportunity to give back to uh, my community and other minority communities is pretty much my main driving force. And, you know, thinking back about, you know, the health disparities that I've seen in my own family and um, in the families of friends, um, it's pretty much keeping me going. My name is Deshaun Lee and I'm a master's candidate at Cal State Dominguez. And how is your, your uh, experience at Dominguez? Um, it's wonderful, uh, but you know, my experience here, I feel like is, is better um, just because I'm actually working with, uh, just doing, being a scientist and working with animals and just making new discoveries that haven't been discovered is, is really been an enlightening and growing experience. Great, and what are your career goals in the future? Medicine, I plan to become a doctor. And do you have a specified uh, uh, section of your doctorate that you would like to pursue? Ironically, uh, pretty much the same as hers, you know, either um, in an endocrinology type setting or um, psychiatrist. Great, thank you very much. And are you a California native? Yes, I grew up in North Long Beach. Long Beach, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Hi, my name is Nancy Awadala, and I'm a recent graduate. I uh, got my master's degree from Cal State Dominguez Hills. Um, doing research here on mainly focused on muscular dystrophy and um, type 2 diabetes. Great, and how has your experience been here? Um, it's been a really great experience. I've had a lot of one-on-one -on -one, um, help from mentors and other master students as well as other people working in the lab. And what are your professional career goals? Uh, eventually I plan to become an MD. Great. And are you a California native? I am. Born and raised in Torrance. And what is your most highly driving motivation? Um, definitely my parents. I'm a first generation um, college student for particular um, reasons in the family and I want to be able to pursue what my parents weren't able to do when they were younger. Wonderful. Thank you very much. My name is Mira Desai and I'm pursuing a master's at Dominguez Hills, Castlet Dominguez Hills, and I'm doing research here at Charles Drew um, focused on high fat diet and nicotine effect on um, liver cirrhosis. Very good. And what, what is your experience like here at Drew? Um, it's been really good. My mentors are really nice to work with. Um, a lot of positive feedback and uh, we have a lot of meetings where we report our work and it's easy to be focused and meet our deadlines for research here. So I really like it. I'm glad I picked Charles Drew to do my research. And what are your career goals in the future? Uh, I want to work more in clinical trials and um, maybe for a pharmaceutical company and then eventually get my MD. And are you a Los Angeles native? Well, I was born in India and then moved here when I was a little kid. So now I live um, in Orange County side, California. Wonderful. And what is your most driving motivation? Um, I think just the curiosity and love for science. Um, there's just so much out there and like so many research um, going on. So just being able to learn more and then have your own little contribution that makes a big difference hopefully. Hi my name is Rashid Ivy. I am a recent graduate as of 2012 from Cal State Dominguez Hills. Uh, I got my master's degree in biology. I came to this lab um, for two reasons. I'm from the area. Uh, the second is the research that we do here um, is highly translational to the population that uh, I like to serve, which are, you know, the minority or the underrepresented minority populations in medicine. Uh, I currently study the, nicotine, the effects of nicotine and high-fat diet on hepatic steatosis, which is liver fat accumulation. Um, yeah. 
thank you because I need these translations <laughs> I need terms for myself. Now, what are your uh, what is your experience like here? Uh, my experience here has been great. Um, I think the biggest the biggest uh, I guess contributing factor to that is the one on one time that we get with um, top scientists in this field. You know, a lot of places you can't even get close to the PI or the person that's in charge of your lab, uh, let alone have you know any type of contact with them here we sit with them we talk with them we have one-on-one -on -one. they contribute to our research and our thoughts about our research and, and I feel like that's key and what are your career goals in the future um, clinician scientists I uh, like to get I'd like to get my MD I'm applying to medical school and what's your most driving motivation I'd have to say the ability to affect someone's life um, through health I feel like is the biggest it's the biggest motivator for me because if they don't have that, they, you really can't do much without health. And just having someone that I believe genuinely cares for you as your clinician is very important. Now, you said you're a native, so you're from Los Angeles. Compton. From Compton, right around here. <laughs> what has been, you know, and we're all familiar with South LA, uh, what has been your biggest challenge in your whole uh, student time? Um, I'd have to say just resources. I'm sure most people would, you know, say how, you know, the influences of the community. I didn't experience um, negative influence from my friends, even those that didn't choose to pursue education. Um, I would say resources available to uh, people in this community, um, the science resources, um, just being far more advanced um, once you go outside of this community versus here.